Hello everyone, it's me Jebby from Unix Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you best free whiteboard software for Windows, Mac and Linux computer. So without further more delay, let's begin. So firstly, just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for one application name as OpenBoard and on the first, you will see its official website, just click on it. Now you can see your download option for different operating system. So if you're using a Mac computer, then you can just select this download option. If you're using a Windows, then you can just select for Windows. And if you're using a Ubuntu, then you can just download for Ubuntu or the Linux. So right now I'm using a Windows. So I'll be selecting this download for my Windows. So let me click on download open board for Windows. So wait for a few seconds until the complete downloading is done. So finally the download has been completed. So let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close this web browser. So now you can see here it's a application file. Just double left click it to run the installer. Now click on OK to proceed with the installation. Click on Next. Click on Next. So you can enable this create a desktop shortcut. So I will enable. So if you don't need then you can just keep it as it is. Click on Install. So wait for a few more seconds until the complete installation of this software is done. So finally the installation has been completed. So you can just click on Finish to run or open this software. So wait for a few more seconds. So finally you can see this kind of user interference, right? So this completely looks like a whiteboard. So it's not a blackboard, but it's a whiteboard. So don't get confused. So it's X just like a blackboard also, but the user interference here is white in color. So it's being mentioned as a whiteboard. So you can write anything, whatever you want to write. And if you're a teacher or if you want to show some presentations or teach someone or do a discussions with someone using some presentations then this is very useful for especially for the teachers and even for the meetings or business purposes you can make a slideshows you can project it through the projector also so you can write anything and below you can see some tools like you can get your annotation documents tools that is like a paint chill or paint whatever you want you can get a highlight tool also if you want to highlight some colors you can just highlight the colors you can get an eraser if you want to erase some parts you can use an eraser and there is one more eraser if you want to clear the entire screen or the entire layout then you can just use this eraser you can see here so you can undo also if you click on undo and you can use the below eraser to erase if you want to erase some parts so here you can see your arrow marking so select any modify objects you can just modify objects to select you can do some modifications like you can increase the writings or anything depending upon by using this arrow you can just use this interact with items you can just show the parts you can just show the parts you can mention by teaching or pointing just like a finger and on the just near next to it is a scroll page you can just scroll the page or move the page then you can use this scroll page and just near to it is a zoom in if you select it and you can just zoom in and next to it is a zoom out and here is a partial laser pen so you can just use it as a pointer as you can see here you can use as a laser and to show or highlight some thing in your board and you can see here next to it is a draw lines you can just select it and you can just create some lines and next to it is our text you can just use this text just double left click it here and if you don't have a keyboard then you can use a on-screen keyboard you can see here on the below option is here if you want to use a virtual keyboard if you're using a touch screen and if you are using a non-touch screen then you can use your computer to type anything and just next to the 
text right text is a capture part of the screen so you can just select it and you can just capture some part of the screen and you can see here there is options to add to current page add to new pass add to library so if you want to add a current page just select it and you can see here it's being added so you can see here so right now I will just undo it now you can see on the left of corner you can see here the color so you can choose a different color if you want a red then you can select a red if you want a black then you can select a black and if you want a blue color then you can select a blue color so there are tons of colors options so you can select depending upon your needs and you can see here the line color or the medium line so you can select if you want a bigger size you can select a this and you can select the eraser also how much size you want so depending upon your needs you can select the eraser also so here is a background option just click on it so you will see a uh, tons of different background layouts so the first one is a plain light white paper so which is by default as you can see right now if you want a grid light background so select it you can see your grid background you can select the rule line background if you want a rule line background or if you want a black color the background so you can get this much of grid style so you can increase or decrease the grid size also you can just increase and decrease the grid size also if you want to make it a tiny also so a very useful features also to change the background layout depending upon your needs like a real paper and here you can see on the upper side our pages right so if you want more pages you want to add then just click on this plus and you can see here you can go back to the previous just by selecting this previous then you can go to the previous or you can go back to the next so let us type some uh, let us write something more here so you can create a multiple pages as much as you want by clicking on this pages so these are all about the pages and on the right side you will see some more options right like a documents if you click on the documents it will take you to the documents right and just near to it is a show desktop you can just click on it and you can directly go to the desktop and if you want to move back just click on this show open board and the last option here you can see is a open board right when you click on it you will see uh, different options like paste layout depending upon white size or regular size can select cut copy paste height of it board sleep open tutorial preference so let us go to the preference and you will see a tons of options here right so in the stylus palette that is the below one as you can see here right now it's in the horizontal so if you want in the left side also it's possible just by selecting this option so you can see the palette has been moved to the particle positions or in the left side so I will keep it as in the horizontal and below you can see here toolbar virtual keyboard pdf rendering and so and so so there are tons of options like grid paint marker network license credits above so i'll not make it bold by showing everything because it's already shown in the user interface here so i'll just close it right now and if you want to close this application you can just click on quit or you can just press a all plus f4 to close this whiteboard and just near to it you can see here a podcast so you can select this podcast to podcast this whiteboard also so the podcast option is also available so the final question arises here how to save this file if you want to save it right so for this what you need to do is you can see your documents right just click on this documents and now you will see your all the pages that you have created or write in your whiteboard so you can just press uh, press and hold the control and you can select the enter page and above you can see your export right just click on here now you will get a two options to export or save it so one is a open board format so this will gonna work only with this application and one is export to PDF so we'll export this as PDF so let us click on it so I will just save it on desktop just to give you an example you can rename any file so I'll just keep it as it is click on set so you can see below export successful so let us close this open board right now and let us open this exported file so finally you can see here the entire exported file 
as you can see here this is a page one and let us move to the page two so this is a page two and this is a page one so you can see here the enter whiteboard pages that we have exported it as PDF so def in my opinion it's really a very good whiteboard software for Windows Mac and Linux computer that you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to your channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching